Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So my name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing the end of the year book tag um, which I'm very excited for. I've seen this tag going around and I think it's a great time to just like a couple of months before the end of the year to like reflect on what you want out of your reading for the last bit of the year <laughs> uh, to bring in 2022 oh, with a bang. Um, yeah 2022 is gonna be a big year for me. I'm gonna become a doctor ah. uh, yeah so that's kind of exciting but anyway I think this is just thinking about some books that I would still want to get to before the end of the year and some like autumn me reads so I'm excited to do this tag and anyone watching this you are tagged <laughs> um, I'm not gonna tag anyone specific but if you do this video I would love to see it and let me know um, so yeah so the first question is a book you started this year that you need to finish um, so I could go with the obvious answer here, my bestie, <laughs> my worstie, um, The Eye of the World. So I did, I ha I did get 100 pages in, in about January, <laughs> um, and it's now November, oh dear. Well, actually it's October when I'm filming this, but um, nearly November. Uh, so yeah, that's a, a bit of a fail. I will get to it eventually, and I'm really excited for the TV show. But that's definitely a book that I really want to try and finish this year. Um, also, a book that I'm in the middle of at the moment, but I do want to definitely finish it by the end of the year, is Mask of Mirrors. I'm really enjoying this one so far. It's like a very kind of Venetian-inspired world. The main character, Ren, she's trying to pull off a big con on all the nobles of the city by, like, posing as a noble herself. And it's so much fun. And there's, like, some weird, like, mysterious kind of magic. But you... I've, I'm only a bit like a hundred and a bit pages in so you don't know much about the magic so far but so far it's just this kind of like almost ominous presence um and yeah um it gives me like Lives of Locke Lamora vibes which I really like that series so I'm really enjoying this so far and I think yeah I'm gonna really enjoy it and also a sequel which comes out I think in December so I want to try and get that finish that before the end of the year as well um and also this, I've milked this question for all it's worth but I want to really want to try and finish Realm of the Elderlings before the end of the year so basically I have Assassin's Fate which I'm going to listen to the audiobook in November for and then also <laughs> Royal Assassin and Assassin's Quest um, which I have I'm going to reread the whole Farsia trilogy well reread the whole reread Assassin's Apprentice and then read the last two um and I want to try and get to them as well because I think I've told myself like Assassin's Fate even though it's the end, it's not the end for me because I still haven't read those two. So like, it won't be quite as sad, but I know it's still gonna be really sad, but, um, well, not even sad, but like emotional. But yeah, I wanna try and finish all the Realm of the Elderlings books by the end of the year. So that's my other like mini goal. Um, okay, next book, autumnal book to transition you to the end of the year. So I have for this one, <laughs> I've got big stacks of books. A Thread Needle by Carrie Thomas. And I thought this one, I, I, I'd vaguely heard about this one a bit on Twitter, but then, sorry, it's dusty. Um, and I was like, maybe I'm interested in that. But then I saw it in Waterstones one day and I thought, oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> so I wanted to get it. And it just gives me like kind of autumn, like early winter vibes. I think it'll be a great book to read in like December time with like a cup of hot chocolate and just all curled up on the sofa with Maisie on my knee. Uh, Maisie's my cat, by the way. Um, and yeah, it just, I think it'll be really good. I don't even know what it's about. Uh, there's a Robin Hobb quote on the back, which also kind of persuaded me. There's like this thing which is like magic and love, love and magic. They destroy everything in the end. I think it's basically this girl who um, kind of discovers like a hidden London and like hidden magic and everything, which sounds really cool. So I think it's going to be like a flowery type book with not a lot of plot, but I'm looking forward to it. Next question. So is there a new release you're still waiting for? So Jade Legacy, obviously, although I did get an arc, so I'm kind of reading it, but I'm very excited for that book to come out. I think it comes out at the beginning of... December. Um, also Cytonic by Brendan Sanderson, which is the third Skyward book I'm really looking forward to. And there's a little Skyward novellas as well, which I do want to get to. I think I'm waiting till they're all out to read them. Or I don't know, because I don't know how I'm going to read them because like, I can't bring myself to spend like five pounds on a novella or an audiobook credit on a novella. I wish like when all three are out, they'll make them into one audiobook and then I can get all three in one go. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. Um, 
about that. That's why I feel like books tend to taper off towards the end of the year, like there's not so many releases coming out. Uh, Leviathan Falls, the last book in the Expanse series, I'm really looking forward to. Although I still need to read books seven and eight before I get to book nine, so <laughs> we'll see if I get to that this year, but I'm, I'm gonna try to. So I think they're like the big releases coming out towards the end of the year that I'm excited about. Um, what else have we got? Uh, three books you want to read by the end of the year. Okay, I already said I have the world, so I'm not going to say that again. Uh, Assassin's Fate, obviously. I'm going to read that soon, because just... <laughs> um, what else do I want to get to? Oh, Rule of Wolves by Leo Bardugo is one that I've been meaning to read, like, literally all year. <laughs> or since March, because that's when it came out. Um, and it's been on, like, so many TBRs, <laughs> and I keep putting it off. But I will get to it eventually. Oh yeah, and another one I, I totally forgot about is The Ever Cool Kingdom by Rinch Peko. It's up there. I'm not going to get it out because I'm lazy. But um, that's I love The Never Tilting World. And for some reason, I just never read it when I got it, The Ever Cool Kingdom. But I definitely want to get to that before the end of the year. I feel like that would be a good December book um, as well. But yeah, I'd completely forgotten about that. But I just thought of it. Yeah, so that's another one I really would like to get to by the end of the year. Um, okay. Is there a book you think could still shock you or surprise you and become your favourite book of the year? Okay, I don't know if it like my favourite book of the year. Um, I don't know what would take the crown for that moment. Probably the Age of Madness books. But um, I guess Assassin's Fate probably will be my favourite. Because so far the Fits in the Full books have been my favourite like Realm of the Eldlings ones. And I just know Assassin's Fate is going to be like the best because it's going to like tie everything together. And, oh, there's going to be so much like Fits in the Full angst and drama and Fits in the... Oh, I can't wait for them to reunite. Well, I'm hoping they're going to reunite. But if they do, I know because what always gets me in books, I don't cry particularly at really sad moments, but emotional reunions absolutely like that's heartbreaking to me not even heartbreaking but it's really emotionally inducing um so yeah and then jade legacy obviously is probably going to be a favorite of the year i don't know if there's going to be any books which like i haven't read like the anok sort of sequels type thing like new books that might surprise me i am actually really enjoying i think i've already mentioned this earlier in the video i'm really enjoying mask and mirrors so i feel like that could be another like not super favourite series, but like a favourite. And then the final question is, have you already started making reading plans for next year? Uh, not really. I think I've had like the one or two like 2022 releases that I've seen I'm excited about. Although actually there's not that many that I know of. <laughs> I was trying to think about books coming out in 2022 and I'm like, I can't think of any. Um, but then actually I did think of a few. Like there is the sequel to A Psalm for the Wild Bill, which is a crown for the something shy. Or a song for the crown shy or something like that. I'm really looking forward to that one. And um, the sequel to A Dark and Hollow Star. Although the cover is so ugly. Um, it's like a cool and something light, I think. Uh, what else is coming out? I'm trying to think. Oh, The Lost Metal, the last book in the Mistborn era too. Very excited for that one. Um, I don't know what else is coming out. If you know of any good 2022 releases for me to have on my list, then definitely let me know in the comments but yeah in terms of like actual reading plans i don't know i'm gonna tr i'm gonna my my plan is to read a lot like after finals but before i start work so like late spring early summer and that's when i'm gonna probably do most of my reading next year because obviously like finals in the first few months of the year so that's like ah. um and then when i start work i don't think i'm gonna do much reading because i'll just have like evenings but if you've been working all day you're too tired to read in the evening so like weekends so I'll probably go from reading like 15 books a month to like five books a month but that's still really good um but yeah I think I'll still I'll always read but maybe I'll just read a bit less <laughs> um yeah and actually to be honest at the moment I do like I go to uni and study during the day but it's just not quite as tiring like I never really read in the evenings if I've been like on the ward all day like doing stuff and I'm quite tired, so we'll see. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this tag. It's a short and sweet one, but I thought it was really fun and just a nice chance to reflect. I'm always reflecting. <laughs> okay. Um, bloody medicine. Um, 
but yeah let me know in the comments the book you're really looking forward to and hoping to get to before the end of the year um i would love to know and if you enjoyed the video please give it a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already and i hope you're all having a really great day and i'll see you next time